Hey everyone, how's it going? Nick Baldwin here, regional technology trainer for Michigan and Northern Ohio with Keller Williams. And I get asked a lot um, about uh, specific things about smart plans, right? So I have actually uh, supplied a number of smart plans to agents in our company. And the smart plans are very neighborhood and listing specific for when you're running ads on Facebook and you want to follow up with them. So I might be running an ad for 123 Main Street, right? And so that smart plan, let's just say 123 Main Street in, in Bloomfield, New Jersey, that smart plan will be very specific for Bloomfield, New Jersey, right? Then I might run an ad for, you know, uh, Clarkston, Michigan, and that smart plan will be very specific for following up with leads that inquire about one, two, three Main Street in Clarkston, Michigan. And so the smart plans are almost identical. However, there are little tweaks within the smart plans that differentiate them. So you can essentially use the same smart plan just by making small minor tweaks to it if you're running two or three or even 10 separate ads. So I wanna show you how I'm using the same smart plan uh, for similar ads, but that are advertising houses and neighborhoods in completely different states. Okay, so here's how we do it. Let me share my screen with you guys real quick. All right, so I'm in command. Uh, I am going to create a smart plan. Let's say it's for um, a house or a neighborhood. Let's say it's for a neighborhood in Bloomfield, New Jersey, right? Um, I'm gonna create this smart plan. It's gonna be very abbreviated just for example purposes. So I'm in smart plans, I'm naming it Bloomfield, New Jersey one or Bloomfield, New Jersey neighborhood. Let's just say Bloomfield, New Jersey neighborhood. You would obviously be more specific when you were running yours. So we're gonna apply that. And then we're gonna be brought to our smart plan canvas. And let's just say we're gonna kick it off with a text message. I'm sorry, that's an email. Let me click out of there. And let's kick it off with the text message. Okay, so it's gonna say, hi. And then we will put in the merge field for the first name of the contact. Okay, so this is just uh, for example purposes. So, um, hey, Nick, uh, this is Nick Baldwin with Keller Williams, and you asked about the neighborhood in Bloomfield, New Jersey in my Facebook ad. There's another neighborhood you may like as well. Check this one out. Okay, so let me go to my website, and let's type in uh, Bloomfield, New Jersey. So the zip code for Bloomfield, New Jersey is 07003. And let's uh, zoom in here on Bloomfield on the website. I'm on my KW website, okay? And as I zoom in a little bit more to Bloomfield, the neighborhoods should start to pop up. Let's see here. Okay, so great, the neighborhoods are popping up. Um, I'm just gonna choose a neighborhood in Bloomfield, New Jersey. Let me choose, I'll choose this one, Broughton Avenue, okay? So, I've selected Broughton Avenue on my website, and then I wanna come over here and click Explore Neighborhood. Now, this link is kinda of long, right? I don't wanna throw this in a text message. It's long, it looks funny, and people might not be too keen to click on it. So let's just copy this, and we'll bring it over here to bit.ly, B-I-T-L-Y.com, which is a link shortener. So I'm gonna create a link shortener for that throw that in there and let's just call it um, Broughton Ave 1 because I think I have another Broughton Ave. Okay, perfect, so it worked. So we're gonna copy that and I'll throw it in this smart plan, okay? So, hey Nick, this is Nick Baldwin with Keller Williams and you asked about the neighborhood in, Blue, in Bloomfield Avenue on uh, my Facebook ad. There's another neighborhood you might like, well, check this one out and then I'll say, um, are there 
any others you may be interested in that I can send to you. Okay, so let's say this is the first text of a longer uh, a longer smart plan, right? So I'm just going to save this and let's just pretend I finished that text message. Okay, I finished that smart plan. So I'm going to save that and then I'm going to go up here and save it. And then I'll go back out to smart plans. And what I'm going to want to do is go to Bloomfield, the Bloomfield, New Jersey neighborhood smart plan. And right now, because I'm just showing you guys how to do it, it's one day and one touch. Now, mo most of my smart plans are like 20 touches, right? So you would want to customize a lot more. Um, but what I would do is I would then come over here and I would click copy, right? And it says copy of Bloomfield uh, neighborhood, right? I don't want it to be a copy of that. I want it to be, let's say, let's choose this, do this, Clarkston, Michigan neighborhood. Okay, so I'm going to apply. So that's what I'm going to name uh, the new smart plan. When I go in and I edit it, I've got the exact same verbiage from the Bloomfield one that uh, that I that I recently wrote a few minutes ago. But instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my website and I'll type in the zip code for Clarkson. So four eight. Um, I'm so far before. Oh, what is I forgetting my own zip code? Uh, four eight three four eight. I believe. <laughs> like forgetting my own zip code right now. Uh, that's spring. Yes, this is accurate. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So I used to live in Bloomfield. So I live in Clarkston now. So let's zoom in and get like a neighborhood in here somewhere. Okay, Independence Township. All right, perfect. So uh, let me choose this neighborhood and I'll go explore, right? I'm going to do the same thing, very point in the manners. So let me grab the link here and copy it. Let me go to Bitly, which is over here. And I'm going to create a new sh link shortener for this one. And we'll call this Clarkston. Clarkson Neighborhood 1. You can call it whatever you want. Obviously, this is just for example. We'll save it and then I'll copy. Then I'll come back over here to my smart plan and I'm obviously going to delete this and say in Clarkston, Michigan. And then I'm just going to take highlight this, delete it, and then paste the new Clarkston one and say, and save it, right? So then I'll save it here. Then go back to my smart plans. Let me go to the, I have a lot of one, a lot of them because I do a lot of uh, testing and, and so on and so forth. So basically all I did was I created the first smart plan and this could be 20 touches, right? And it could be all about Bloomfield. And then I just copy it. And then it's super easy. When you copy it, you go into the, the, the copy of the smart plan, rename it, and you just remove anything that mentions uh, the, pr the first town that you were writing the smart plan about. So in this instance, I would just remove and go through all the text messages and phone call reminders and emails and remove anything that mentions Bloomfield and just put in Clarkston or anything that mentions whatever town that smart plan is supposed to uh, be a follow-up for in terms of Facebook, whatever Facebook ad that smart plan is supposed to be a follow-up for. And then I just copy it. And if I create a new ad for a Clarkston neighborhood, then I add those leads to that smart plan. So if I'm running, check out this Bloomfield neighborhood. Uh, if I'm running a type of ad on Facebook that says, check out this Bloomfield neighborhood, right? Then I'm going to add those leads to the Bloomfield neighborhood follow-up smart plan. Then I'm going to run a second ad that says, check out this Clarkston, Michigan neighborhood. I'm going to put those leads on the Clarkston Michigan neighborhood. And so when I'm sending out these smart plans and it says in the smart plan, insert neighborhood link, that's what I mean, right? You have to insert your own neighborhood link, but it's easy to do because all you need to do is make as many copies as you want and run as many ads for different houses or towns or neighborhoods, and then just replace the neighborhood link with the corresponding 
neighborhood link from your website and make a shortened link on Bitly and just throw it in there. So um, I hope that makes sense um, because uh, it's actually really easy to do um, and very effective. So you'd be running five or six or eight or 10 different uh, Facebook ads, um, essentially, um, you know, essentially uh, with the same smart plan, just replacing the, 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 the specific area and location and links. So um, yeah, so I hope that makes sense for you guys. If it doesn't, obviously let me know. Um, I hope I explained it well. I get a lot of questions about that. So I just wanted to kind of like help you out, help you out, help you out a little bit when it came to that. So um, you can always reach me, um, you know, you know where to find me on Facebook, rttmino at gmail.com if you have any questions. But that's basically how you do it. So hope that helps, guys. Uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.